Love Light team, what's good? I'm finally back in front of the camera and it feels good, man. Just been busy, been living life uh, out there, enjoying myself, and so I've been gone for a little bit. I know maybe I start this basically every video, but it's all good, okay? Today, we're talking about setbacks in life, relapses, flat lines on your journey. So a flat line, you might not know that term, but in the semen retention community, a flat line is maintaining quite a long streak and building up this great energy within you and reaching a peak and then kind of flatlining. A lot of people can get depressed on these flat lines. Some people get depressed from relapses. So we're going to talk about all that setbacks in life as well. We're going to talk about all of that in today's video. First off, I want to talk to you guys about how in life the pendulum, you know what that is, where the ball completely just sets back and forth and, and will stay in motion for a very long time. If you've ever been to like a science center or something like that, sometimes they have a big ball that just swings back and forth. Life is kind of like a pendulum at times. No one is at equilibrium rate where they're just steady as shit their whole life. Obviously, you guys know this. There's highs, there's lows. Sometimes it's a roller coaster ride, okay? So you have to, in your head, know this when dealing with setbacks or dealing with issues that arise because we know the pendulum is always swinging and there will always be another problem. There will always be another issue. There will always be something when the pendulum swings this way. But you have to remember the pendulum is going to swing back the other way. So a lot of times I've noticed a cycle in my life where I'll hit a low or I won't be very disciplined or I'll screw up or I'll make mistakes because I'm a human and it's okay. And I'll get to this low point only to break out of that low point into a high, almost sometimes the highest high I've ever been at. So... A lot of times I look at it as, okay, at one point I was this low. I rose up this high, but now that I'm up this high, when the next low comes around, I'm only going to dip down to here. And then the next high will be up here, and we just keep elevating. That's really the goal. So it, remembering the pendulum idea and that life goes back and forth, sometimes lows, sometimes highs, you just have to ride the wave a little bit, okay? Especially when you're on these semen retention streaks. I'm going to get into the next one. One thing that has really worked for me when relapsing or experiencing a flat line on my streak is forgiving myself. I think there is kind of a spiritual community thing where it's it, everyone's very hard on themselves when it comes to spirituality when it comes to semen retention if you relapse if you're in a flat line if you're feeling depressed if you're feeling down on yourself forgive yourself forgive yourself for anything you've done in the past because it's important to live in the moment and experience what is going on now because those things that have happened in the past they're not worth dwelling on especially if it was a mistake that you made. Now, obviously, an extreme mistake takes some time to process your emotions and things, but if, if you are relapsing every day, really takes some time to process. But I'm, I'm talking about experiencing like a flatline depression. Forgive yourself if you're going through any major issues like that or if you just recently relapsed. Tell yourself, I forgive me. I forgive myself. You can even ask for forgiveness from the universe if that's how you want to phrase it in your own mind to help you. But sometimes I feel people relapse and they think, oh, I, I just went for 60 days or I just went for 90 days and I relapsed and I feel this loss of energy. And you, you guys know if you go on a long streak, you will feel that essence like you'll relapse and you'll feel it within a couple days. Now I'm not telling you guys to go and just go crazy and just start busting all over the place, but just be aware that you don't just lose the energy instantly unless you've been constantly depleting that tank. 
So forgive yourself if it happens. Realize that let's live in the moment, okay? Let's let's be present and let's make this streak, this energy that I'm building, the best possible energy. And I think a quick way I want to mention to kind of pull yourself out of that is just be grateful. Sit with yourself and realize the things you have, the position you're in, the, the food that you can eat, the shelter that you can stay in, the bed that you can sleep in, the water, clean water that you can drink, the healthy body that you have that can move and exercise and talk and think, the brain. There's so many little things that we can be grateful for that will instantly, maybe not instantly, but if you practice this, you might, you might be, start being grateful after a relapse or you're on a flat line and realize, it's not so bad. This ain't so bad. I didn't screw up that bad. I got so many other things in my life to be grateful for. So... Quick tip on that one, guys. Next thing. I think some people can get discouraged on their journey and think that they've hit a wall, which is a flat line, or they've they've relapsed, or um, you know they're they're experiencing a setback in life. Just remember, in the back of your head, there's always going to be another high coming. Just just try to remember this, and realize that if I stay disciplined. If I can work through this battle, maybe this test that the universe has sent me to deal with, and knowing that this is a lesson within itself, and realizing there is a reward at the end waiting for you, if you are able to stay disciplined in this time. So there might be some things that are tempting you, right? Maybe maybe a girl is hitting you up. No, nothing against women, okay? But there may be something that's tempting you. Use your intuition in this thing to realize, okay, is this meant for me? Should I be doing this? Should I be doing whatever you're doing? Drugs, alcohol, okay? Any of these things. Or, you know, resisting temptation and staying disciplined. You realize the universe will reward you at the end of your journey, at the end of that lesson. If you're super down in the dumps and you remember you think, I know that I'm going to climb out of this. I know I am and I feel this way right now and I've processed my emotions. I understand why I feel this way. Just remember, if I can push through, if I can hold on, if I can go to the gym today, if I can read that book today, if I can post this YouTube content, if I can drink a gallon of water a day, if I can stay committed to my health routine, if I can do all of these things, or one of them, or some of them, or something, and just stay true to that, the discipline will be rewarded if you're able to stay true to the routine you've set your, for yourself even when that low is presented even when that setback comes even when that flat line comes even when this relapse happens you're cultivating the new energy that is coming to you you're bringing in a new air to yourself you're not gonna go back on those old ways anymore you're not gonna fall victim to those old ways you're gonna stay Stay tough, mentally tough, because at the end of the day, the high is coming, and if you stay true to yourself, the reward is double. It's double, bro. It's double, bro. And I, I need this video for myself right now, honestly, which is why I wanted to talk about this topic, because I knew that if I just got in front of this camera and started talking, the things that even I needed to hear would just come out of my mouth. So... Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate all of you guys. It's your boy, Love Light Logan, back again with another banger. And today, I'm done here. So y'all have a blessed day, okay? Stay positive.